Thank you. Welcome. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it a little bit brief because there's a lot of interesting content today. And I'm just I'm saying welcome to you all in this uh, cathedral of audiovisual Netherlands, um, as we call it. Uh, Martha, uh, also called Anders, Martha, nice that you are as well here. Uh, please, can you uh, put a screen on t technical people? Oh, I was distracted with my uh, Martha is distracting on. people again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so now my presentation is going. I'll wait a bit. Oh, you did it. No, it's coming. Okay. Oh, it's, 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 I didn't do it. Thank you. Okay, so you've seen this nice building. You've seen now the inside of this nice building, uh, this cathedral, as I call it. And I just want to tell a little bit about uh, um, what's, what's in there. And you've noticed all these little children walking around. Really fun. Uh, that's not all the year. This, um, it's a uh, holiday season this week. Uh, so that's why there are all kinds of variants with children visiting our museum because that's one of the functions that we have in this building being the museum of um, uh, Dutch audiovisual um, uh, heritage. Um, so it's a very nice museum. So you could visit it normally when it's not so busy and crowded. It would be, that'd be nice to uh, go around, but uh, I wouldn't recommend to do that today. Uh, because of the children. Unless, of course, you like uh, to see where Bert and Ernie are really from. They're from the Netherlands. You've seen them walking there, right? So now you know where they're from. Um, but there's the museum, and actually it's a quite old museum. And we're really thinking hard how we can create a museum which is more, let's say, what I call as a uh, ICT person in this building, a more state-of-the-art, which with a lot of new kind of functionalities uh, based on doing stuff with a video and I would like to uh, have a nice presentation where you can browse video collections and things like that, uh, the things that you'll work on. Um, but this museum that will, uh, it will take a few years before we will have this museum, we're currently uh, developing that. But uh, apart from the museum, we are uh, the broadcast archive of the Dutch public broadcasters. So uh, in, in other countries you normally have a broadcaster and they have both broadcast plus archive. So, uh, for example, the BBC uh, has uh, an archive and, and the broadcast is in one, but not a comparison actually. Uh, but we, we, are, we are separated. So, this environment around this building, there are all the public, Dutch public broadcasters, at least uh, a lot of them, uh, and uh, like um, different names. Uh, I, I won't tell you about the Dutch system because it takes long. Um, but the idea was that this sound vision, this building, um, should be the archive for all these different broadcasters in the region. But also, uh, are we the, uh, the, the archive for all the audiovisual heritage in the Netherlands? I say all, that's of course also not true, but um, uh, we try to, to, to build, create facilities, storage facilities, but also access facilities for um, institutes in the Netherlands that, that hold audiovisual data and want to do something with it. Um, so, of course, we have uh, uh, this kind of stuff, um, uh, these, these tapes, uh, but also, of course, the digitized version. A few years back, we had a very big, big uh, program called Images for the Future, uh, where we got a lot of funding to digitize uh, all these, uh, these tapes and uh, make it um, available for access. Um, so we're actually at this point now, and one of the features <coughs> that I have here, uh, to try to build systems for accessing all this data. Uh, so there's a very interesting job, unless, uh, well, but it's also a difficult job, I would say. We are a multimedia archive, I say, well, uh, you can say that I think, because we also have a lot of text data that is linked to uh, uh, the audiovisual data, like uh, program guides and logs. Uh, we have images from objects and, and scenes, um, audio, but also something like oral history, which is not typically broadcast uh, data, but more uh, research data normally, uh, video of course, and the business archive, and we are uh, going into uh, things like web archiving. Um, there's a lot of broadcast data on the web available, and not which is not broadcast actually, but just on the data uh, on the on the web, and also things like social media harvesting. How do do we grab uh, context, as we call it, of all these uh, broadcasts that are on the social media? That's of course interesting stuff. Um, what, how interesting and why this is interesting for long term, we don't know exactly yet, so we are really investigating how we can, um, what we can do. So, I say of course in, in, in proposal uh, lingo, uh, big multimedia data, and what we do, we want to uh, be able to create systems not to find what you are looking for, but also what you're not looking for, so serendipity. We see that a lot of people that 
um, use our archive systems have no clue what they're actually want to search for. They type in uh, names of, of, of famous people, of their home place, these kind of things, but quickly don't know uh, what to do next. Uh, so we developed things uh, like the concept browser, what we did in, in Axis, where you can randomly uh, go through all kinds of um, uh, video uh, collections based on uh, simple concepts like a hat or a, a chair or a monkey or vegetable, whatever. Uh, so that is one of the things we do. And also connection, creating connections, creating links um, to, um, uh, to other content. Here it goes again. Uh, is what we do. So, for example, uh, connecting radio to a uh, collection of Dutch um, national archive footage from the uh, very nice photographs um, for different types of users, uh, of media professionals that are working in the, uh, in the industry uh, wanting to um, search our data for reuse. Um, researchers and educators, of course, journalists, you can think of academic researchers that want to do uh, research on all kinds of topics. And obviously also the public users, and we've seen a lot of these public users, we have some 120,000 visitors of the museum uh, uh, annually. And um, one of the things what we would like to do, is this, uh, I was just saying to Xavier uh, in the afternoon, um, we could, these are free clicks, so we would like to have this, this example of this, this image um, selection, for example, which is, image is the most interesting. Well, it would be nice to have this facility uh, there where the people are waiting and they just click uh, and we can use that in our evaluations or something like that. Um, a lot of work is going into this, uh, what we call media management, uh, actually getting the production chain metadata, uh, having media archivist support to what we call it. We, we used to call it media archivist support system, uh, but because of the alliteration, it becomes a little bit of a strange word, especially when you remove the media. So now it's the media archivist support tool. And of course, we also want to uh, make available things like audio analysis, video analysis, text analysis, crowdsource, all these kind of things. And uh, what we have been doing a lot of the past years is um, doing projects uh, in European context and national projects, uh, investigating how all these analysis things could help us do our job. Uh, with um, some success, I could say, but what I would like to be able to is, is really implement this uh, in, in working prototypes that can uh, be used in systems. So uh, really search, explore, and connect in what we call the Sound Vision Labs. So this is one of the um, main thing I'm currently working on. I'm the lab manager here. Uh, and what I try to do is collaborate with, with all kinds of partners, partners from research, uh, industry, cultural heritage, and all social organizations together to, um, uh, to work with this data and see how this can help uh, either research or a social organization or a cultural heritage institute or, uh, in general, the, the public users. And one of the big questions, is, and the reason why I'm very interested in, in benchmarking, uh, is um, could also this kind of labs environment uh, help us to go beyond the support and the supply uh, of data towards uh, these kind of initiatives, uh, and maybe use it as a testbed for real life scenarios in the broadcast of creative industry. Uh, so that's uh, the, the, the main interest of, of, of Sound Vision formally in uh, what you guys are doing. Uh, so we um, are very interested to hear more about uh, it for many years uh, to come, I guess. I, would, I, was, I was thinking about uh, saying a prayer for uh, having a, uh, a good benchmark in the future and, and a solid ground truth in, in the near future, uh, but I leave that to uh, the next uh, speakers. I, I wish you a very happy Medieval 2000, and is it today? 16. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.